Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to do some super duper animation inside Axure RP. So it is a quite bit uh, unusual for, for Axure. So um, this is the kind of uh, animation that I'm going to show you how to do. And, and that said, if you're interested, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, and, and put a like, a comment, and that said, let's get started. Here we are inside Axure as usual. So uh, let's go back to see basically all the, the page, how it, uh, it looks like uh, and what should be the, the final result. So by the way, if you're interested, this, uh, uh, this template is on my uh, website. So uh, on my marketplace, www.carlociccarelli.it slash marketplace. That's it. So uh, this is the results basically. We have this uh, uh, nice landing page of a uh, uh, potential, um, I don't know, studio, uh, design studio, whatever they, they are, branding studio, I don't know, I don't know. So and this uh, should be the final results. Let's go back, uh, close this and let's go back on the home page to where I deleted everything to do the um, tutorial. That said, so what we have to do is really simple. So uh, first things, we have to use a repeater. Let's uh, put the repeater inside the page. So let's delete everything inside. Let's put a dynamic panel inside the repeater of, uh, in this case, but whatever the, the, the size you want, uh, the size of this uh, dynamic panel would be a 360 by 360. So square. Let's position it at zero to be precise. And let's put the corner radius of eight. Let's go in the outline. Yeah, let's rename this like uh, content. And repeater will be the repeater. Okay. And inside the content here, we would have basically uh, an image inside. So let's put an image inside and let's do uh, 360 by 360. So this will be basically the image that will resize inside the uh, dynamic panel. So the content dynamic panel, that's okay. So this is why we're using a dynamic panel because the dynamic panel will be a sort of mask, right? Uh, around the image that will resize on mouse over. Okay, so now what we have to do is uh, actually uh, really simple. Uh, so what we have to do is to uh, download first of all uh, some uh, nice images and what I would suggest is to go basically on uh, pexel.com and why pexel uh, you can say? Well, uh, let's go first on pexel.com, yes. The good thing of Pexel is that um, uh, compared, for example, to Unsplash, uh, they have the possibility to download the images with an aspect ratio that is different from the aspect ratio of the original image. For example, if I go to, uh, I search something for branding, for example, and I select uh, this uh, ordinary branding, whatever it is, so, and I go on download, I can select, of course, a size. Okay, so the maximum size to the smallest size, but even a custom size. And as you know, in Axure, we have this problem with the images. If you want to place uh, uh, inside an image widget, it is square, a rectangular image, it will be shrinked. Okay, so it's not like putting uh, as background of a, a dynamic panel an image. This you can you can change the position and you can say okay um, uh, I want that the image uh, cover the um, uh, the dynamic panel. Uh, unfortunately, for the images, it is not like that. So you can uh, download it squared. For example, in this in this case, 500 by 500, you can download it, and that's it. Actually, I already did it. 
So there, uh, I already have it on my desktop. And so let's go uh, back to uh, Axure. And what we have to do is, uh, first of all, we are going to put a six element. As you can see, we are going to uh, space them uh, of 16 pixels by row and 16 pixel by columns. We uh, put a layout horizontal and we wrap them each three images. That's it. So actually this is our magic repeater that would be um, actually centered probably more or less yeah in the center of this yellow background okay well that's it uh what we have to do here we rename the columns as image here and here we would have the title and the subtitle here so the image in the image right click and import image we select all the image that we need for each uh, of the six uh, images of the repeaters. That's it, that's it, that's it. Here we are, here we are, and the last one. Okay. Now what we have to do, of course, is to go in the, in the interaction pane and say, on item load, what we have to do is to set image here under widget action set image of our image that is inside our repeater it is inside our content okay let's uh, select this and instead of image we should select value select value fx insert variable uh, variable or function here and item dot image and voila we will have our images inside. What we have to do now is to resize the image on mouse over of our uh, single box. Let's do it. So let's go inside, let's select the content. And what we have to say is new interaction on mouse enter set size of our image of, for example, 420 pixel by 420 pixel by 420 pixel from the center, right? And we can put also an animation like is out cubic for 320 millisecond. And let's do it the inverse for a mouse exit. So let's copy this set size and let's put it on a new interaction, a mouse exit paste and instead of uh, 420 let's put it back to 360 and 360 and let's see what is the results actually preview let's go down voila you see that's already amazing you see it's amazing okay so now we have to put the content right so the content let's uh, base our content uh, based on, on the images and let, let's throw some, some, some ideas, right? That's it. So this is the content that we'll we will show in this new box that we are going to put inside our repeater. And so let's go back and select the content. And inside the content, we should put uh, this new box, okay, with a size up, put it inside, with a size of 300 pixel by 300 pixel. Okay, uh, color would be uh, actually white let's put some corner radius of 8 pixels and the content should be yes in the center vertically and in the center horizontally that's perfect so here we are let's test the text uh, why this I will show you after so first of all we have a title title that might be for example uh, Roboto Okay, Roboto, and the size might be like uh, 32. Yeah, 
why not? This uh, gray is perfect. And the subtitle would be uh, another font that is the PT Serif in, in, in my case or whatever you want to use, of course. Uh, size of, I would say, uh, 16 pixels. And let's say uh, this is the subtitle. Yep. Let's uh, put the, uh, the line height of 24. Okay, okay. So the only thing that we need to do now is to link the things together. Interaction, set text of what? Our title, subtitle, that's it equal to set text to not text but rich text, added text. And so now that we have the content that is uh, uh, inherited by the test that we did inside, so the thing is really simple. You just have to select the text that you want to, to change and uh, insert variable or function. And here you select item.title. And for the subtitle, you do the same. You select the subtitle uh, insert variable or function and you select item that subtitle that's it and voila voila done 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 so now this is the results of uh, when basically there will be uh, the mouse over okay and uh, but at the beginning would be really small and now I uh, show you how to do this uh, uh, little animation so let's uh, select again and let's say that this uh, side sh size should be one by one. Really small. Why this? Because we need that uh, animation of zooming in and zooming out, right? Zooming in and zooming out. So, and this is, uh, this can be done only with the resize of this to one pixel, for example, right? So let's put it in the center, this, um, and uh, it is 180 by 180. Why? Because of course it's 360 by 360, so the, the center is 180 by 180. That's logic, actually. So that's it. We uh, put it as hidden, and that's it. Now, let's go back on the content. So let's select the uh, dynamic panel, interaction, and on mouse enter, we have to resize it again to 300 by 300. So add action, set size of our title from the center of 300 by 300 by, oops, 300. Animation is out cubic, 320, that's perfect. And of course, we have to show it show hide again this title subtitle show animate fade with 320 that's it now let's copy these two and we should do the reverse so let's put it back to one by one right so let's copy this and let's paste it here so now set size we will put it back always from the center to one by one. Okay, not actually 320 uh, milliseconds because it's too slow. We are, I would say 120. And we do the same for the show hide. Show hide, we hide this time and we fade it back to 120 milliseconds. And let's test it out. Uh, preview. Let's see how it works. Whoa. Amazing, amazing. And that's it. This video is finished. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it uh, really, really useful. As usual, subscribe to the channel, uh, activate the bell, put a like, a comment, and, and see you in the next video. Bye.